All right, let's get started. Go to Visual Basic. I have written the code already. We need to have this mod.filterlogic module or whatever name you want to call it. And then we have DM some sheets here. First, we have the SRCWS, shortened for search sheet, as worksheet, and destination worksheet as worksheet. Then we're going to DM last row as long, I as long, and J as long, and output row as long. These are the variables that loops through the sheets we're going to use to set the filters. Then we're going to DM search one to seven as string. Then we're going to DM match as Boolean and DM has filter as Boolean. We're going to set the two sheets equal full data and set destination worksheet as data. So basically these two sheets, full data sheet is our data sheet. And our date sheet goes below the search box here. These are the two things we've defined here. Right here. Then we're going to do a search term from text boxes. If it have, set has filter to false. And we're going to do a J for one to seven, which is basically a text box. We have seven text boxes here. So text box one, text box, we can review it here in design mode. We have text box one here, text box two, all the way to seven. So it's just going to loop through all the text boxes here. Let's quit design mode here again. Then we're going to search for J and trim the destination worksheet and use a all the objects root for the text boxes and the j basically all the text boxes i'll just show you and if search j is not equal blank then it has a filter we said i'm gonna set has filter to true and do an xj and then we're gonna clear the output area only on the source sheet like this this sheet that is under the search box here so we're gonna clear the content and then we're gonna do for J one to seven, loop through the rows again, and loop through the destination cells with J in the destination worksheet and in the search worksheet. And then we're gonna do a last row in the search worksheet. We're gonna use that and have an output row seven. And then we're going to loop through the data with I from two to last row and set match as true. And then we're going to use a J for one to seven again and search for the J and make sure if it's not blank, then we're going to compare the text here with the search filters with J and set it equal to zero. That means match equals false. And then we want to exit for, we're going to exit all this for. If match, then we're going to do a J for one to seven again and make a destination worksheet, go from output row plus one and J. What this basically means is it's looking through the destination uh, sheet and a search sheet for values and do an output row equal output row plus one. So everything is search and finds it gonna show it in the in the output of the sheet. And then it's just very important that we call this multiple column filter throughout all the search boxes here. Call multiple column filter in all these seven search boxes. And the way you do that is right click in design mode, right click here, view code, and insert call multiple column filter. So whenever you search, the search results will show. Now we search with S or we can search with leave. Now we have all on leave, for example. And now we're gonna code the clear search button. We want when we click on this button to clear all the text boxes. So the text boxes will be blank. And by that it triggers this code we just wrote. So all the data will go back and show all the data like this. So basically clear all these seven 
text boxes. We're gonna take a look at that right now. Go to Visual Basic, insert module, and we're gonna call that sub clear search. We can just copy paste this into the module. And then we're gonna dim WS as worksheet. We're gonna dim I as long. And then we're gonna set WS equal this workbook.sheets and use the data. That's our sheet. And then we're gonna clear all the seven text boxes. And we're gonna do that with a four I, for I equal one to seven. Then we're gonna do a WS folder object text box and I dot object dot text equal blank and then our next I and then we're gonna rerun the filter to show full data and we're gonna do that with calling the multi column filter like so so when we right click here and assign macro we're gonna pick clear search here so when we search from region north maybe we take also sales then it clears all the text boxes and we have the data back as it is so now it should be working That's how to make this search box. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. I plan to do more video tutorials and reach out to me on TikTok, engage with my content because this video is particular for people reaching out to me and commenting on my videos that they wanted to see this tutorial. So go follow me on TikTok and make sure to subscribe also to my channel to stay up to date with new training videos and tutorials. And then I will see you in the next video.